Hi there, happy Saturday. Um, today we've been out doing a bit of shopping and whatnot. Generally having a quiet day. Check out the sky. It's quite amazing, the sun is just setting. I meant to pose you a question as part of this new vlog. And that is, what is the craziest stuff you've bought since lockdown began? Like, give me your top three. I mean, I've got more than three, but give me your top three. Uh, in comments below please and I will give you a guided tour of the crazy stuff that I've bought. Welcome to another episode of Toby Stupid Vlog. Evening walk update. So um, I came out because the weather had improved and then I looked on the horizon and realised the weather was not improving <laughs> and fast made it to this here bus stop where I am now sheltering from it appears to be almost a thunder shower. It is so ferocious. We had one earlier today in the car, despite it's supposed to be a beautiful day. It wasn't. Um, and it was really heavy. And then the barbecue that we had today involved going out of and into the gazebo to take shelter. Um, didn't put a dampener on it, really. But this is not really walking weather. So I think the sky's getting lighter because I'm a perpetual weather optimist and I think I'll be walking again in about 10 minutes but we'll have to see Look at that, my optimism is going to pay off I know I'm pretty sure um, So I'm sure you've all experienced this that if you go out after it's been warm um, for a while and then it rains and then you go out after the rain's finished there's a smell in the air that you only get immediately afterwards and you probably think that smell is the rain. Um, it's not, actually. Um, it, in some cases, it can be oils from the trees that are knocked off the branches by the rain. But in most cases, the smell is actually to do with a soil bacteria. <laughs> now, bear with me. I know you're thinking, this is the most boring thing he's ever said. So, there is a, there is a bacteria that grows in the soil. When it gets really dry and hot, it produces spores. When it rains, after these spores are being produced, um, it knocks the spores into the air. The, the sort of strength of the downpour knocks the uh, spores into the air and aerosolizes them. So essentially mixes them with the rainwater and sprays them around. That is what you can smell. It is bacteria spores. Now, I know that's quite unusual, but if you don't believe me, Google it. Personally, I love that smell. It's one of my favorite smells. And you only really get it in spring and summer when it's been warm enough for the bacteria to spore. Um, and you don't get it in really, really urban environments because there is no bacteria spores lying around. Although they can grow in the cracks in paving slabs. So it's not impossible, but it is fantastic. And you tend to notice it only for like a couple of minutes after the rain begins to subside. Um, but I love it. It's one of my favorite favorite things about nature is that smell after the rain. Side note, I have been informed by someone I know who's much better at science than me that you actually sometimes you really do get it in urban environments if it's been lots of consecutive days of hot weather because the spores from nearby um, grassy lands or mud or fields and what have you will have landed all over the pavement and in fact the water hitting the pavement aerosolizes them even more easily than it does out in the countryside so you can get very strong smells after the rain in cities so there we go everything you never wanted to know about why it smells after it rains you're welcome so next time someone asks you don't you love that smell just say oh yeah actinomycetes and they'll look at you like what is your problem and then you can give them the spiel i just did Hello from Osterley. We've come the long way because uh, someone had to sleep. But this is the back of the uh, stables and what have you, which is very beautiful. And back here is the formal gardens, which is a very long time to have seen any of. So we're going to go and have a look. Wow. Just wow. There's Osterley from the back of the park. Just come around here and you can see this weed that I don't know the name of, which is amazing. It's really pink. You can see it all the way from the other end. And the cows are in the middle of the field. 
which is promising. And we are heading through the woods. It's Friday and I have recorded a podcast this morning. Crystal's having one of her keeping in touch days, so she's at work today by the office uh, at the end of our corridor. <laughs> and I've been looking after this person. Yeah, uh, so we're going for a walk now because I did my recording this morning while she was having a nap. And uh, now we're just crashing into some nettles. And yeah, now we're going to get out and have a bit of time outdoors. We had a lovely day yesterday with my parents in Wisley. Uh, dodging showers though. Uh, they kept being really heavy showers. We had to find the nearest cover. But it's still a very nice day and Amelia seemed to have fun. And you know, it's outdoors and it's green, so I like it. Anyway, uh, it's Friday, it's the last day of the week and uh, we need a word of the week. And tomorrow, for some inexplicable reason, finance so not health not people's well-being but finance the pubs will reopen so that's idiotic but um, they do um, some of them are choosing to delay it until Monday quite wise they technically open at 6am also idiotic um, but anyway the return of pubs means this week's word of the week is the pub the pub so first of all in German the pub is Die Kneipe Die Kneipe is the pub they don't really have a pub as it were in Germany they have bars um, and beer halls and what have you yeah, so this is the closest you'll get Die Kneipe is pub in German and in Italian they do have pubs um, mostly Irish pubs as a sort of mock um, Irish pubs I should suggest maybe not like ones in actual Ireland um, they also have bars which are different to pubs because they don't serve large amounts of Guinness on tap um, but the pub specifically in Italian is Il Pub Il Pub so there we go that's pub in German and Italian and that was this week's word of the week Toby.